Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Do you want to know the latest social news about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube? You do? That's great. Well, this is a new section that I'd like to call Kari Social, which is a weekly update of what's happening with social media so you know what's going on. This is ideal for marketers, business owners, entrepreneurs or anyone with a vested interest that wants to understand the latest and greatest tools within social media. I'm Kari Watt the creator of The Curry Care Show and a digital strategist with nearly two decades of experience in marketing and communications. For the best digital and social media tips and to help you rank higher on Google search, subscribe to my podcast to make sure you never, ever miss these social updates. And you can follow me on social media at Kari Watt, which is spelled C-A-R-I-A, W-A-T-T for some good vibes and plus it's free. First, I'd like to ask you, how are you going during this pandemic? Are you okay? Are you safe? Are you going a little stir crazy? Yes, <laughs> I kind of know that feeling. That's why I've created this new section to the podcast so that at least you're getting some positive news. So let's talk about Facebook. Now, Facebook reported that it's seeing a record high level of demand for its services, obviously because of the COVID-19 lockdowns across the globe. Messaging activity is up 50% across Messenger and WhatsApp while the use of live video on Messenger is up a whopping 70%. Now, another area where Facebook has seen a major increase is, of course, Facebook Live, which has risen by 50%. Now, these increases, of course, make sense because more people are stuck at home, right? With no social outlet. So they're turning to the next closest thing, which is live video and messaging. And now that people are looking to Facebook Live, Facebook is taking the opportunity to add some more tools to the option, both for its regular users and for professional broadcasters to cater to the rising demand and to make Facebook Live a more useful tool to connect with a wider audience. Now, the social network is adding automatic closed captions as well, which is a great thing, while it's also providing a new option for people to listen to the audio of live broadcasts without viewing the video, which means that those with lower data capacity can still tune in, which is which is great news for businesses and for you who want to produce more videos. Now, Facebook also announced the full rollout of Messenger Desktop app, which is available for both Mac and Windows and for all users around the world. It's also rolling out some new measures to assist businesses who are dealing with the impacts of the pandemic shutdowns. Gosh, we're all feeling that right now, aren't we? I mean, it's full on. Facebook have also launched a new set of video features designed to help you build audiences for your video content and promote return viewership. Now they've added a new experiment section to the ads manager which will provide a central home for all of your Facebook ad tests and results. They're also working on a new auto status option for Messenger, which when switched on would use location tracking as well as other device tools to indicate what you're up to at any given time. I'm not sure if that's kind of like Big Brother. They're also adding some new sections to its download your data in Instagram and download your information in Facebook tools in order to provide more transparency over the information it collects on your activities and how it uses them to show you more relevant ads and content as a result. So let's talk about Instagram. 
Now, they're working on a new option which would let you limit your exposure to sensitive content on their platform with a new setting. When it's switched on, it means that the user would see fewer photos and videos that might be of a sensitive nature. I think this is pretty good, especially with kids at home at the moment. Of course, Instagram already limits user exposure to sensitive content by placing questionable posts behind a screen. I mean, you'll see that where it's a little bit blurred and it gives you the option to view the photo or video if you choose. Instagram is also fast tracking the rollout of their co-watching feature which lets you share your saved, liked and suggested photos and videos in the app with up to six people at a time via video chat. It's also testing another Stories Edition, a new animated selfie sticker tool that overlays graphics and effects related to different emoji characters on top of your image. Hmm, not sure I like that one, but anyway. (laughs) Now let's go on to Twitter news. They announced a new update for its Explore tab, which makes all of the listed tweets in Explore more location specific. It's also considering changing the name of its lists tab in the app to channels, which could help to encourage further content discovery and exposure. Uh, Twitter has released another guide, Business Leader's Guide to Elevating Your Social Program. Now, this guide aims to help you put social data to work for more analysis, more insight and improved performance overall. They've also published a listing of 20 tweet prompts to get you thinking about what you might want to share in order to keep the tweets flowing and to keep your brand front of mind by appearing in your followers feeds. And they've also published a listing of key dates and events of note for months ahead, which includes all major sporting events and industry conferences, along with holidays and seasonal celebrations. This helps you map out your strategies, you know, your social media strategies for the year. And they've also put together a whole bunch of tips for your messaging in a time of crisis. Now, if you want, um, if you want these guys, you can always go to my website, kariwat.com, which is spelled C-A-R-I-A-W-A-T-T.com, and click on the insight section and you'll find a link to this post, which will be the Kari Social number one. And I'll have all the downloads there in one place for you, so it's really easy. Now let's talk about YouTube. So YouTube is currently working on a new feature called Shorts, and they're hoping it will appeal to the TikTok crowd. Now Shorts will include a feed of brief videos posted by users inside the Google-owned app, and it will also take advantage of the video services catalog of licensed music and songs to use as soundtracks for the video. Now I'm not sure about you but I find TikTok is quite repetitive for me. I'm Some of it's quite good but I'm still not a lover of TikTok yet. I find that a lot of people are being quite silly on it and it's really for kids which is great for them I guess but again the content is not Um, filtered so anyone can post on them. I'd actually be interested to know what your thoughts are about TikTok. Do you like it or hate it? So that's it for the Kari social for this week. Remember to hit the like button and share this with a friend who could use a helping hand. Why? Because Kari cares about women helping women and men who could use a helping hand. Tune in next Tuesday for another social update. Until next time, peace! Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzcastNetwork.com for details.